Appropriate technology is one of the most important aspects of heart. Appropriate technology class is probably more outside the classroom than any others. We try and spend a lot of time doing hands-on activities in that class. It really gets you ready for almost any obstacle. It covers everything from welding, basic automobile repair, stuccoing, wiring, electricity, uh, water pumps, digging wells, uh, how they uh, make cisterns, which is just catching water uh, from the rain and storing it. Purifying water, uh, which is one of the most important things considering most of the world, their biggest issue is just not clean drinking water. We learn all sorts of things from the water levels, pH, how to, to effectively bring clean water to people who don't have any. Each student gets an opportunity to do some welding and metalworking. That's really important for those that are going to be going uh, around the world to places where they have welders and, and often you don't have the opportunity to have somebody that can do that. Uh, we are also going to be adding blacksmithing. We have a small uh, blacksmithing unit here now, but we want to add to that and expand it for the future because some of the places around the world that are welding doesn't exist, but blacksmithing is available. We learned how to cut, to braise, and to weld. It was really neat to actually do that. You know, goggles on, flame in hand, cutting metal and, and soldering and welding it together. It was a neat experience, to say the least. We also learned how to do stucco, and it was really neat because I had never done it personally myself. And it was a hard task, but uh, we put up chicken wire, and uh, we made the concrete mixture, and we slapped it on, and we smoothed it out. Then we actually went down to Haiti, and we spent one entire day doing some stuccoing, and that was a really exciting experience for our students. It gave them an opportunity not only to, to try their hand at it here, but to look at how you adjust that uh, overseas. In a third world perspective, most likely you're not going to get the top of the line type of equipment. And a lot of stuff here at Heart usually either is not working very well or it's broken. And we'll either have to fix it or just make do with it. If a saw isn't working right, you have to figure out how am I going to how am I going to cut this tree? You know, it really. Uh, makes you think outside the box. With how I've been prepared in all these different faucets, I could probably build my own house and dig my own well and, and you know, I don't have to rely on, on anybody. I could fully sustain myself. Here in America, we're really used to um, just hiring someone, looking in the yellow pages and just finding anyone to just come over and uh, help and fix things. But um, the thing is, when you're in third world country, most of the time, the people will look towards you. Appropriate technologies is really cool because it's really important that you get a grasp on a lot of things so you can be prepared in any situation when you leave the country.